What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Tucker Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm about another video. Before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I leave a link to a different playlist in the every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. If you like my channel, find my channel useful. Take a moment to subscribe and turn on post bed notifications. That way, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. Today I'm about to another video. Today I'm about to share my thoughts on Diddy reportedly returns his key to New York City after Mayor Adams asked for it back. I was deeply disturbed by recent video footage. I want to share my thoughts on it, but at the same time I want to read an article with you guys that way we both can get a better understanding on what led to Diddy get up his key to New York. And as you can see, the mayor's office reportedly sent their letter to Diddy on June 4th, and they had the key back in their possession by June 10th. The city apparently keeps receipts of everyone that has received a key to the city, and while Diddy's name is still on the law, there's a disclaimer next to his name that reads, this key to the city has resigned it by Mayor Eric, Eric Adams on June 4th, 2024, via a formal letter due to ashes of domestic and gender-based violence committed by Mr. Combs. Wow. Let me read that one more time. The city apparently keeps receipts of everyone that has received a, a key to the city. And while Diddy's name is still on the law, there's a disclaimer next to his name that reads, this key to the city was resigned, resigned by Mayor Eric Adams on June 4th, 2024 via a formal letter due to actions of domestic and gender-based violence committed by Mr. Cole. Now, basically, this letter basically saying they're not worried about all the other lawsuits that Diddy has going on. This is mainly behind the video of him beating up Casey. You know, so that video wasn't going on. Not that If that video wasn't, wasn't surfing around the web, then everything else would be excusable for Diddy to keep the key to New York City, basically. You know what I mean? Because if it was about all of that, it was said, based on all the lawsuit Diddy has going on, that they're reworking re the key to the city. But they just focus on one thing, and that says, via a formal letter due to actual domestic and gender-based violence committed by Mr. Combs. Basically, time talking about a video of Diddy beating up Casey, unfortunately. You know, um, I think this is right. This is the right thing to do because people that get the key to the city is an honorable deeds. They do honorable deeds and good things, not things of what Diddy been accused of doing. So I think this is a good thing. This is a good thing. This is something that, that should have took place a long time ago, in my opinion. And now that it's done now, hey, either way, it got done. You know, either way it got done, I was surprised that the mayor went through with it. Because I thought, me personally, I thought it was going to be a bunch of talk. And now to see that the mayor kept his word and, and put action behind it, really make a big difference. You know what I mean? Really make a big difference. And I hope this be a lesson learned to anybody that had the key to the city anywhere. Let them know, know it. In the wrong move, you can lose the key to the city. I hope this be an out with a lesson learned for everybody. Every celebrity in the world that has a key to the city, I hope this be a lesson learned and an eye opener that you can lose your key to the city for one and false move. You know, and I just want to share my thoughts on this for a shout out my shout out video the last Sunday in July. Y'all tell me was this a good thing or do you feel it was a bad thing? Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. I give you a shout out my shout out video the last Sunday in July. If you like my thoughts on this situation. Take a moment to subscribe and turn on post bed notifications. That way YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. I do leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. And I'll see y'all in my next video.